in partnership with Christ. April 13. The end is very near. God calls upon his people to set in order the things that remain. The Bible declares in John 15 and verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. As we look at the phrase, he that abideth in me, and I in him, we realize that this speaks to first setting our lives in order. We ought to invite Jesus in our lives. We ought to invite him in just to abide in us. You might be wondering today how to invite him in. It is clear in 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, then he is faithful and just to forgive us from our sins and to cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. Why not let us trust his word uh, today? Let us ask God to abide in us. That is the power of his word. Father, we just pray that you will abide in us now and forevermore. Grant us the power to serve you and to invite you in. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay. Just for your